Your Monday mystery game is none other than Ray Crisis. Released from Taito back in 1998 on the GNET system. Very, very cool piece of hardware. There's Ray Force, Ray Storm, and Ray Crisis. This much similar to Ray Storm, which we've had on the arcade floor. This very much about chaining, not the typical training, but you uh, have a lock-on mechanic, and uh, you can run the reticle over the enemies and then launch this missile. And I'll track everything down in like a homing reticle. So this is going to be interesting. We'll see the more enemies that you can chain, the bigger the bonuses. You go on first. Your host, the hype man. Josh is stepping up to Ray Force. Ray Crisis, I mean. Beautiful looking game. Two ships to pick from. Let's see who he goes with. Pick this board up out in Japan. Definitely pretty rare. The red button is your regular shot. You can just shoot enemies with that. But this, you're really focusing on going for scores. So like, you can use the second button. Once you see that spark of the reticle lock on, you can shoot, but the more enemies you have locked on at once, the higher the point value. So this game, very, very scoring heavy. And then the third button, more of a bomb mechanic going on. Hater Saxon have the PS1 port. Beautiful backgrounds on this game. Again, if you let that reticle, you see it spark and you shoot using the middle button, definitely a lot more points there. Using the bomb, oh, look at all those points. The big points. Dropping that larger ship. This again on the Taito GNET hardware. So the game itself is basically a, a little card. It's like a, a chip. Uh, there's, your lives are, I believe, on the left. It's at two. Taking out those missiles. This cabinet we picked up from um, uh, 
I didn't see his final score. We'll track it. You, what'd you think? That was good. Um, very unique type of game. Um, I might give it a shot again, maybe. Did you play Ray Force? I have not. That is definitely Ray Force. Well, Ray Storm, I should say. Did you play Ray Storm? Yes, I have. I have. That one very similar to this. So we'll see. Four hundred thirteen thousand five hundred points. Who's stepping up next? It's Jose. What is up, man? How's everything going? Pretty good so far. Good. Have you played Ray Crisis? Um, no, but this looks very similar to what King said about Zero Gunner. It is It is kind of similar to Zero Gunner as well. I'd, I'd accept that. Which I haven't played yet, but I have, I'll give this a shot. Let's see how you do. Philly saying right, uh, 98 was an amazing year for arcade games. It definitely was. See which one. This, another. You know, I keep saying it that we're going to get ahead a week or two on cabinets. That certainly did not happen. Was having Mass Tech Doug Fox work on a board. And uh, around Wednesday, I knew what game I wanted, we were going to put up. It's like, no problem. 100% it'll be ready by then. Thursday came. He's like, I'm, I haven't even gotten to it yet. Friday, he's like, still, 100%. That game will be ready. Build your cabinet up. It'll be ready. Saturday came and went. Sunday came and went. Monday, Doug came here and this morning, and he's like, yeah, I'm going to need a couple more days. But that's arcade board repair. They are tough. Some of them, anyway. So around uh, at our building inspections first thing in the morning, and then jumped on getting this cabinet up and running. We picked this cabinet up. It's a standard Dynamo 25 inch monitor cabinet. It had uh, Area 51 in it. Picked it up from Mr. Jeremy Fox over at Prince Arcades. We'll see. I think the scoring on this one is going to be solely determined by who picks up on how the shot mechanics work first. Because when that reticle locks on, you hit the middle button, and that launches the missiles. All right, here's the boss. Retro Gamer, sorry to hear that, man. Jose at 70,000. Oh, there he breaks 100,000. When those reticles lock on, you hit that middle button, 